Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Battle Brothers Let's Play. So, in the previous episode, we kind of ran around, we um, beat up some bandits for no particular reason other than we felt like it. And then we took on a mission to hunt down some monsters that were terrorizing Salt Kai. And it took us quite a while to find them. Um, I'm pretty sure I've tracked them down. I saw them for like a second in this general vicinity, so as soon as we start and start moving west, we should be able to see them. Um, it is a pack of dire wolves, so we're going to chase them down, kill them, get our money, and then find some more work. But uh, before we get started with the gameplay today, just to remind you guys to hit that like button if you are enjoying the series and want to see more. And don't forget to subscribe as well so you can uh, help the channel grow and follow along with this series or any other on my channel that you might enjoy. So I got to be quick about this because if I unpause and they start moving, we could lose them. I think they are slightly faster than us, so let's go. There we go. Come on, we got this, we got this. Chase them down. It took me so long to find these guys. Uh, okay, this should be fairly easy. This is one of those instances where spears are incredibly useful. Uh, unfortunately, they got the drop on us and have already closed ground, so I don't have time to set up. It looks like... Oh, great. Wow, I thought there was five, okay. Um, I need you guys to start putting down whoever you can. Of course, it's night, so we're not going to be particularly good at hitting our shots. Uh, help out with that side. That one's getting a little bit overloaded. Is anybody going to be able to hit? Apparently not. Uh, get your shield up, protect yourself, and start stabbing away. Same over here. Nice. They have, like, head armor or something that's kind of weird. I need you to... I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, why don't you just wait? Yeah, help out with these guys if you can. Okay, spearmen, definitely get your spears up. I'm actually going to have you just kind of close ranks around this guy. Because I don't think they're going to move up that way. Uh, Ulfert, why don't you just hang out? I'm going to see what this guy does. You need to start hacking away at him. You can do the same. Of course we missed. And why don't you go ahead and stab that guy? Okay, your turn's over. And I guess you're just going to hang out. Hopefully they just kind of fall in right here. It looks like that's what they're going to do. And then we'll just kind of wrap our forces around them. Okay, that's an interesting choice. So he's going to go there. Okay, so it ended up working out the same either way. Alright, so we should have like roughly two guys on every wolf. As long as we keep our shields up, I think we'll be okay. We've got good armor and they keep missing. So as long as that remains the case, I think we'll be alright here. Our archers are not going to be of much use to us, unfortunately. We'll keep taking shots, but it's not really going to make a difference. Um, you know what? At this range, it might be better to just do a couple of quick shots. So let's see. Shield up. Um, 65 or 55. I'll take the 65. We are going to rack up quite a bit of fatigue with our shields like this, but it's the best way to handle this by far. Uh, why don't you get up there and take a quick shot at whoever you're most likely to hit, which is apparently nobody. Well, I'll take a 10% then. And why don't you... 74, wow, yeah, definitely. That's like almost guaranteed. That's about as close to guarantee as you get in this game. 66, okay, that works for me. And what are you looking at? 38 and 38, because it doesn't matter. Uh, he's wounded, he's not. Let's go for a kill here, maybe. Oh. Well, you hit some, you miss some. Okay, he's going to miss a couple times. As long as they keep missing, I'm cool with that. Oh, he didn't miss that time. Luckily, our armor is good enough where it's going to take them a lot of hits to get through it. Especially with the shields up, our defense is so good that I think we'll be pretty safe. 54, yeah. We'll keep poking away. I don't think it's going to matter, though. Cool, we got a hit, finally. 
and 55 or 55 go for the kill there or swing and miss actually no don't do that we're gonna keep doing these like wild quick shots because it doesn't seem to matter um, I'm gonna have you move to okay move to there that's fine I should have seen that but too late now and who's more likely to die I need you okay thought we might get the kill there I guess not and I need you to basically do what he was supposed to do there's a hit he's near death he's just bruised god we can't seem to finish him off which is bad because we're, we're building up way too much fatigue we're gonna start taking some hits and we missed on a 50-50 right there yeah, once we once we run out of fatigue or uh, we build up too much fatigue, we're not going to be able to raise our shields anymore. We're going to have to choose between attacking or doing that. And so they're going to start hitting us more consistently once we, you know, start dropping the shields. Which, you know, is, okay, he bled out. That's cool. I was hoping we'd be able to put, oh, I almost confirmed that, put a few of them down before uh, we got to that point, but we're kind of not doing so well. There is a kill. He, he usually comes through. I've been pretty impressed with him lately. He's gotten a lot of kills in the last couple fights. Eight or... Eight. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter. What we hit on an eight, that's... That's statistically very unlikely, so I'll take it. You guys just keep... Wow, another eight or ten. Actually, a five. Damn. That's impressive. I'm going to spam some stabs here. That's what I was afraid of. Um, well, too late now. I can't take it back. Another miss. There's a kill. Ulfert, take him down, please. No. At least you, at least you hit him. Okay, yeah. A lot of fatigue being built up. Thank God for the kill there. And if you could hop in and maybe finish this guy, that'd be great. Perfect. So they didn't get any more swings at us. Torleif and Rupert took a little bit of damage, uh, as well as Ulfert, but everybody came out more or less unscathed, so not too bad. And then uh, Lineart, actually, wow, a lot of level ups. Uh, Gisler, Lineart, uh, Hjalmar, Herman, and Rupert all leveled up. And we got a bunch of uh, un unusually large wolf pelts, which are worth 200. We'll see if we can find anybody willing to buy them for that much. And what happened to my inventory? It's all messed up now. I guess this was from the uh, bandits we fought, or at least some of it was. The weapons, certainly. Okay, let's get to leveling up. Uh, let's see. Rupert, the architect, will go first. Um, wow, you need some resolve big time. And we'll give you some fatigue and some defense, I guess. And then for your perk, since you have a sword, I'm going to give you Sundering Strikes, because it's more of an offensive weapon. For Hjalmar, I'm going to give you Deflect, and then we'll do some Resolve, some Fatigue, and I hate these like one point things, I'm going to give him some health. If it was like two or three, I would take it, but one point seems like a waste. Okay, let's see. You definitely need resolve. Fatigue as well, and I guess I'll give you some health too. Actually, scratch that. I'll, I'll give you the defense. Because his health's not bad. Now, my least favorite class is to level up the archers, because I never know what the hell to give them. Uh, I'll probably just focus on offense and see if there's anything there. Let's see, definitely resolve, some range skill would be great, and fatigue. So, how many perks do we need to get to the second tier? Three perks, okay. I think we'll focus on offense then. That We'll probably focus on like offense and utility because he shouldn't be getting hit that much. Uh, armor damage reduction is a good idea though. Actually, dodge, both of those are probably a good call. Really, really, all of these are going to be useful, minus the uh, shield ones. Bloody Harvest. 
We don't really use AoE attacks, though. At least, not for an archer. Um, go for the head, gain 10% chance to hit the head. That's not a bad one for an archer. Uh, gain both 20% chance to hit and 20% chance to hit the head against targets that are stunned. We don't stun people that often. Shield damage. Uh, I think this one makes the most sense. So we'll give him that, and then we can start doing some of these. But I'll probably give him a few defensive abilities as well, just to round him out. Although he's not going to need them very often, I don't think. And for you, I think melee skill is important, because the more likely you are to hit, the better off we are. Mm. Let's see. I'm actually going to give you... Battle forged, and let's head on back to Salt Kai for our money. Your employer, Vander of Salt Kai, might not believe what happened here without evidence. You order the men to begin taking pelts, trophies, scalps, whatever might show off your victory here. All right, so let's get this stuff sold and collect our pay. You return to Vander and lay one of the pelts clear across his desk. It. Its limp claws wrap around the side of the oak. The man lifts one and then lets it fall again. I see you found the beast you were looking for. Or we were looking for, excuse me. You tell him of the battle. He seems most pleased, taking a small wooden chest out from his bookshelf and handing it over. 840 crowns as agreed upon. The people of Salt Kai deserve the reprieve you have given them from such horrors. And let's see, we'll have to wait until they open back up before we can do any of this. But we might find some work. So you enter Salt Kai and a man immediately approaches, <clears throat> trundling the mud, trundling through the mud to get to you. He announces himself as someone in the employ of Sorrel the Elder, a man of some power in this town, and he, along with his along with his thoughts and monies of others, or with the thoughts and monies of others, have or is that monies? I guess monies? Have decided to seek out your service. Sorrel the Elder welcomes you, waving you in. Very well, now that you're here, would you please shut the door behind you? One of the man's guards pokes his head around the corner. You smile as you slowly shut him out. Turning around, you find Cyril the Elder walking toward a window. He stares out as he talks. I need something. It's, uh, well, you don't need to know what it is. I need this something delivered to a fellow called Siegfried the Councilman. He's waiting for it in Rothenbach. It's important that, it's ac that it actually gets there, important enough for an armed escort, which is why I'm turning to you and your company. What say you, mercenary? I say how much? Uh, 250 when the job is done. I want more on completion. I'm going to decline no matter what. So I'll need a lot of time to think about this because I'm never going to take it. So uh, Rothenbach is not that far, but honestly, that money would barely cover the trip. So I'm going to hop back into Salt Kai and see if the market's open yet. It is. Perfect. Let's sell some of this junk. Can I sh shift click these? No, you gotta drag it. We don't need that anymore. We don't need either of these, in fact. Uh, these pelts are not gonna fetch anywhere near what they're worth. 55. This one's damaged, though. Let's just get rid of it. Uh, I don't need any of these maces. That hatchet's worthless to me as well. And I don't need a bow. So let's get the food up to here. I need more food, actually. And how much is the bread here? Wow, that's overpriced, isn't it? Um, really, all of it is. Actually, the fish isn't bad. We'll take some fish. Now, they have nothing I want. But let's get our inventory sorted while we're here. Uh, that's the next best one. Then these two... A lot of shields. Quite a few shields. Whatever, that's fine, I guess. We're going to have to figure out what to do with all these uh, wolf pelts. I'm actually going to move them up so I don't forget about them. Okay, anybody here that might be worth hiring? Siegfried. Uh, he's a peddler, which makes him a little bit more prone to range combat, apparently. we got a monk. Two monks. I honestly don't... There's no point in hiring anybody else, because we'll be paying them to do nothing. So, let's head to Sandmark. It's been a while. And uh, we'll see if they've got any work for us. Maybe uh, 
some weapons or armor we might want now that we've got some money. And if uh, nothing else, we can either head to this Red Moon Den or maybe to Dornthal and see if they have any work. I don't mind going out of my way to fight you know, groups like this. It's just that without getting paid to do it, it seems kind of pointless because you can usually get paid to do the same thing and uh, not only get all the loot, but you know, money as well. Marketplace. What are you guys willing to pay me for these? 50. That's still not a very good price. Your grain is a little bit expensive here, too. So is the fish. Wow, everything's expensive here, apparently. Because this is like a real city. That's that's why, I assume. Apparently that axe was pretty good. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of it. Oh well, too late now. Uh, let's see. Armor. What do you got? I've got another basic male shirt. That's tempting. As is the padded leather. But honestly, I don't think... Like, all of our infantry is really well armored. Because they have padded leather or better. The archers don't quite have the same quality of gear, but they're never in melee combat, and so that's not a huge concern. I think getting the infantry to slightly higher levels is the better idea here. So, for example, like a male shirt like this, it's just so overpriced, it's hard to justify spending that much. Like, this isn't that bad. It hurts vision, though, so you gotta give that to somebody who's like a melee fighter. Like, it's it's overpriced by about 80, which is not the worst we've seen. 210. That's pretty damn good. It's like five times as expensive as this, though. Let's take one more mail shirt. And then I will sell... Technically, the rugged surcoat is better, but I'm going to get rid of it. And we'll just keep these two. Because it looks a little roguish, and we've got a couple guys in them already. And then let's see, Ike has been around for a long time, but I think Otmar is our most veteran guy outside of uh, Ulfert. So let's see, Ike, you get the new chainmail, and then we will pass on the leather lameller to Ike and the padded leather to... I guess we'll give it to one of these guys because the archers don't need it. Let's see, max fatigue minus 8, minus 4, yeah, so we don't want to give them any more fatigue than we have to. Are you better or is he better? He's a little bit better, isn't he? Uh, neither of you is particularly great, so I guess it doesn't matter. In that case, I'll just give it to him. And that should do. They don't have a weaponsmith here, but typically the weapons are extremely overpriced anyways. So Ertwin the Younger's room, and he's and one of his servants are nailing a box shut. Good to see you, sell sword one moment please. No idiot, hold the nail that way. I know I hate that before, but I won't do it again. We've read this before. Uh, let's talk money. That's not going to make me a rich man, but uh, I want more. 640. I'll accept that. What are we doing? Deliver cargo to Brunnenthal. How far is that? Let me let me think about it, because I want to know where that is. I feel like it's fairly close. Uh, I'd rather hunt something down. I'd rather fight. I'm going to skip that one. Let's head to Dornthal. Oh, we got some bandits. Let's go after them. Oh, you ran right through them. What are you doing? Many bandit thugs. We'll tear through these guys. Okay, so I might retreat a bit here. They aren't going to be able to close within a turn anyways, so I think I'd like to get back to the high ground here. Is there any other high ground I can work with? No, there isn't. So let's work on maybe forming a rear line here and then our front line here. And I'll try to spread out our archers a bit. Because they're going to be just short of closing the gap. Let's see. I don't yeah, I don't think they can get beyond that point. So we're gonna fall back to roughly here. We'll make them waste some energy too while they're at it. 
So we'll fall back to there. Uh, they don't really have anything good, so I don't think we're going to be getting any decent loot from this. But that's fine. I mean, that's not the primary reason I took this. I Honestly, at this point, I'm more concerned with XP because we have good gear. If we don't have, you know, skilled troops, it's not going to matter what kind of gear we have. So, basically, I'm trying to level up our characters as much as we can. That's a cool armor, sort of. It's just like a brown gambeson, I guess, but it's got like a like a tooth necklace around it. Why don't you hop back to there? And you need to fall back as well. Just, yeah, everybody fall back. Ulfert, um, I want you in the mix for once. You're usually out on, on that flank. I should probably reorganize so that he's in the middle or something. I don't know. I kind of like him on the edge just because I don't have to worry about losing that flank. Like, he's always going to hold that flank, but at the same time, the middle is just as important. Nice. It's always nice when you get a hit. Okay, unfortunately, a lot of these guys are going to close before we get our spears up. Why don't you go ahead and do that? I don't think anybody's going to come toward you, though. They're all going to attack this side. It's not going to matter. We've got them outclassed. Of course, I'd hate to say that and then end up losing somebody important. 65, 31. Who's the most dangerous? I mean, these guys don't have shields. He's got a sword. He's got a flail or something. Let's go after him, just because it's a... I was going to say it was a high percent shot, but apparently not high enough. Uh, start stabbing away at him. He's got, like, no armor. Yeah, they're really loading up on that flank there. So we'll have to adjust 66 or 76. I'll take the 70. 33, 33. Well, maybe kill him then. Nice. Shields up, smack him in the face. Uh, start poking that guy, there we go. Armor's already nearly busted. I need you to go out wide. And I need you to stab somebody. There we go. I might want to get another pikeman. I feel like having a stronger, like, second tier might be a good idea because we tend to like outwit our enemies to the point where we end up just kind of like doing this and wrapping around them. It might be better to have somebody with another pike kind of sitting back where they're not in any danger, just kind of stabbing away at people. Nice, another hit, especially on a low percentage like that. Interesting choice. 33, are we going to do better than that anywhere else? 37, 39. Yeah, sure. Help out over here. He does have like three guys on him. This guy's just sitting there with his spear ready. Uh, finish him off. Let's have you help out here. And I want you focusing on this guy. Perfect. I'd love to get him dealt with. There we go. Busted his headgear. Another kill there. Why don't you just start slashing away at him? There we go. Um, I guess you can jump down here and surround this guy. So there's only, what, two left? Three left. Let's see if we can go for the kill there. Perfect. Let's start playing a little bit more aggressive here just because, honestly, our armor is so much better. I don't think they can really do anything to us. Of course, you know, I say that and then something bad happens, but for the most part, I think we'll be alright. If he goes there, he can still take some stabs. Is this guy going to retreat or what? Eh, two hits on the shield, no big deal. Let's get a kill there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And three more level ups. Uh, not a whole lot of gear, but we did get another Gambison, which is nice. The rest of this is pretty much just uh, 
trade fodder. Some more grain, some coins. Uh, ammunition and tools and stuff is always nice. Okay, so let's head on down to Dornthal. And we are going to try to find some work, but then we'll probably have to end the episode because we're very much out of time. So we'll see if we can't find a job here, and then uh, we'll do said job in the next episode. Alright, so we've got two jobs available. We'll take a look in just a second. Nothing here I want. Although... 43, that's not very good. I'll sell this sword because I don't really have any use for it. Actually, oh wow, we've got a lot of stuff I can get rid of. It's going to spoil in a day, I'll get rid of that too. Um, all these bucklers can go. Get rid of these. We'll keep the gambeson and sell one of these. Actually, we've got a lot of gambesons, don't we? Like we got three gambesons. Well, you know what? Let's get rid of all of these then, because the gambesons are much better. Uh, I want to put that in an organized thing. Um, let's see. I'm gonna get rid of that goblin spear and we'll keep this regular one. Get rid of that too. Uh, we'll grab some more grain while we're here just because it's cheap. And okay, so we can do this one for the night or whatever, or this one, which might pay slightly better. So Friedrich the treasure restlessly walks up and down while stopping now and then to address you. Uh, we got it, cemetery issues. Hopefully it's just raiders. 440 in advance, 770 when the job is done. How about more on completion? Sure, I accept that. That sounds good. Of the restless. Okay, so I think we got undead. Probably ghouls like we dealt with before. Hopefully zombies, but more likely ghouls. And uh, that's a pretty good payday, so I'll accept it. And as long as we don't all die, we'll be fine. So there's our... Uh, our quarry out here. Um, I'm going to go and break off the episode right now and we'll pick this up in the next one. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Battle Brothers with you guys, as always, and I uh, look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode.